welcome back everybody and today we are going to do a product review and unboxing from a light that was sent to me by SG LED or SG LEDs. So here it is and I did have to open the box because I need to make sure it is what it is in the box and indeed it is. So let's open it up. Oh boy. We got this. And we have a packing slip, and that's that. Okay, so here it is. This is what it, the way it comes. It's the box. And I don't know where it's best for you to see it when I put it down, but that's it right there. Let me just read some of the data. Okay, so it's a LED grow light. The model number is C21GL-. CE 26-24W and it's a 120 volt so it's standard regular voltage for the United States if you're in I guess Europe they use like 220 or something so it's a little different but for US people we use 120 volts so it's standard voltage 60 Hertz that's the frequency that's standard by the way it's a 24 watt bulb and it's not dimmable they specifically tell you it's not dimmable and the spectrum is full spectrum light. It's an E26 base. It's a standard light bulb base. So that's it. That's the specs. And so let's open it up and see what's inside. And we got a little card that it comes with. Da 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 little card that's what you get with it box looks just like this you're just basically gonna open it up remove the bulb and there's really nothing else inside there is there when you're using these kind of light bulbs and you're spending the kind of money you spend on good lighting I don't recommend throwing these boxes out just put them in your closet or put them in the attic or in the basement somewhere you got room and hold on to it for at least a little while and the main reason for that is for storage purposes and or if you have to return it for any reason and uh, or have the product replaced because it got damaged in shipping or whatever and maybe it got damaged but uh, I always recommend keeping these boxes and for me personally because I move from time to time I'm not going to leave my expensive lighting in a house that I'm selling to someone I'm going to want to take my bulbs with me these kind of bulbs anyway so I'm going to want to keep them back in a box so when I transport them they're nice and safe and it, it's just easier for moving when you do it that way so anyway here it is it's a very nice bulb you can see that it has the donut LED system there which I'm a big fan of these donuts by the way they work very very well very well very bright it's just this technology with these donut type of LEDs are incredibly bright I mean it's it's overwhelming at times and you can see that the plastic on this one is gray so that's a little different than some of the other lights I reviewed and on the inside over here somewhere on the inside I'm not sure if these white things are the porcelain but there are heat sinks inside of here to dissipate the heat so so basically you can see that you got a lot of aeration here for convection so when the lights sitting inside the fixture it can just convect very easily, keeps it very cool, extends the life of the bulb. Turn it on and plug it in. Whoa, look at that, guys. Whoo, Man, that is something. Look at the light on that. I mean, it's hard for the camera, by the way, to really pick up the spectrum, the, just the clarity of light. I mean, it's... I've been using this light, these kind of lights now, these LED lights, for doing photographs, photography, and video. As far as doing photography with this kind of lighting, is it's better than doing photography out in the sunlight. I get better, clearer, can capture more details than I can in regular sunlight, in full spectrum sun. This is much better. The shadowing is less, the, the just the clarity of the light now. That is, I can actually see the light through my eyelids right now. Holy mackerel. I'm like getting spaced out from that. That is incredibly bright, guys. You have no idea 
how bright that is. My eyes are actually, I see like that spot you see. Through the eyelids, I see that. So, yeah, this is, this is incredibly bright, guys. I'll go get a plant and I'll uh, show you what it looks like over a plant. Okay, so here we are. Here's the plant. And as you can see, it's a nice little dwarf tomato plant, which we're going to be doing a lot of dwarf tomato plants this year. This is the kind of a plant you're going to want to grow indoors is the dwarf type of tomatoes. And so with this plant, you're going to need good lighting. So let's uh, turn this thing around, put that on top, and give you an idea on how it looks under this light. Now, you can see... Now my extension cord is really limited in space, I'm sorry about that, but you can see that this plant is absolutely well lit. I would recommend going a lot higher, it's just my extension cord is too short for this. Take my glasses off for that, because it's actually burning my eyeballs. Um, but you can see that it's very nice over a plant. Now again, you don't need to be this close for this, you really don't guys, this is just way too close. You want to raise this up at least a foot, even for a plant like this. It's really going to heat the plant up a lot if you keep it too close. You want to come up about a foot above it. But that's what it looks like with the plant. Now, I can't see on the camera how well you can see that on that plant. You can see how nice it is. That plant is lit like a Christmas tree, guys. <laughs> this thing's incredibly bright. I'm very pleased with it. So, what can... You do with this light? Well, you can use this light for growing. It's it's used for a grow light. But you can also use it like I use it. I really need really good, high-quality, full-spectrum lighting when I'm doing photography and videos. It's very important to do that because I'm not getting the right kind of shadow casting and stuff like that. So I really need good lighting. And I, I've been using these lights for photography, and it's really good. It's I'm getting way better, clearer not as it's like if you try to do images with a lot of incandescent lighting as well as uh, fluorescent lighting you get a lot of graying effect it, the, like the bulbs kind of just gray out the image a little bit it's f like flat I'm not getting a it's like if you do a, an image inside of full sunlight you get like the full crispness of the of the image you just you get a really good photography shot and when I use this light I get very close to that effect maybe even better I'm not getting I'm getting less shadowing when I use this light whereas with sunlight sometimes it seems like it's it bleaches out the image too much and I get like shadowing is more uh, intense than the light itself so this light is really good for photography and, and shooting video and stuff but it's really used for growing plants so I just don't I don't want to sidetrack on that issue but I did want to make a point that uh, you can use it for other things other than uh, growing your plants. So if you're bringing your plants out for the summertime and you're not using the bulb and you want to use it for photography, that's, this is perfect for that. Don't know what else to say about it. I'll give you a blind spot there. Okay, so I will leave links in the description for this bulb specifically. And you can pick it up on Amazon. And they did give me a code... For you to get a discount, I believe it's 20% or 10%, I'm not sure. I'll leave that information in the description. It's HYD C5C I5 would be your discount code. You'll find that in the description. Just head over to Amazon, click the link below, head there, add that product to your cart, and I believe at checkout you add the code to it and you get the discount. So I'm not sure how that works, but you'll figure it out once you're there. So anyway, that was just a quick review on this SG LEDs 24 watt bulb which is incredibly bright guys if you're not using LED start considering going LED the price that it costs for me to run these bulbs either just on growing my plants alone or around the house the cost savings is going to pay for itself within the first year or two depending on how much electric you use so definitely start to consider going to LED it's the wave of the future don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.